On tap, Hop Slam Ale. Hi, I'm James Knott and this is the Better Beer Authority. Today, we are sipping on a beer with a lot of hype. Hop Slam Ale from the Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. Each bottle from Bell's Brewery has a batch number on the label that you can use to look up the age and freshness of your beer. This is important because none of their beers are pasteurized or use preservatives. Hop Slam is a winter seasonal beer and this year shipment started on January 10th, 2011. This double or imperial IPA contains honey and is 10% ABV. So throw it in a snifter or tulip glass and sip it slowly at about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Bell's uses six different hops in the brew kettle and finishes the beer by dry hopping it with Simcoe hops. What is dry hopping? Normally hops are added to the boil to extract alpha acids that provide the bitter taste that offsets the sweetness of the malted barley. However, boiling hops reduces the aroma they add to beer. In dry hopping, additional hops are added during fermentation or in the keg to add aromatic oils to the beer. Dry hopping does not add to the bitter taste, it only enhances the aroma. Mark, this is a pretty aromatic beer. How would you describe the aroma? Uh, well, initially what I noticed is that when the beer actually had a head on it, it came off with a very strong grapefruit scent. And then after the head started going down, I was getting more just a nondescript citrus and not just grapefruit. Excuse me, excuse me Mark, that's where you're wrong. Uh, this is, it started out with an apricot s smell to it, and then it goes into the grapefruit smell. Just want to let you know that. I think, Chef, do your job and make me a pie. <laughs> <laughs> Joby, if you were going to describe this to some of your beer drinking friends, how would you describe it to them? Well, James, I'd probably start off by saying it's a really hoppy beer. I mean, given the name, Hop Slam, you know, how can it not be? Uh, but then I, I, I'd have to say, you know, it's a pretty smooth beer uh, and doesn't have the bitter aftertaste that a lot of hoppy, real hoppy beers have. So all in all, it's a drinkable, high hoppy beer. Scott, what is your take on this beer? I love this beer. It's uh, probably one of my uh, top five beers. Uh, it's amazing. It has a great balance. It has a lot of hops. And again, when I first started BBA, my taste for beers is a little bit different. I really didn't like hoppy beers at all. What about this beer makes it unique? For me, honestly, it's the grapefruit. And on the back end, I mean, it's 10% alcohol, first of all. I mean, I like hard, hard alcohol as well. I mean, I'll drink, you know, vodka, tequila, gin, different drinks. You can save this for your counselor. That's true. <laughs> you are my counselor. <laughs> Honestly, with, with Bell's Hop Slam, it has an amazing balance for a 10% beer. And I'm not saying that because I you know, love beer that have you know, you know, 10, 9, 8% alcohol. It's more, this has a great balance. It has a great smell. I mean, the aroma is very citrusy. It has a consistent taste throughout the drink. I mean, it has a great mouthfeel. Everything about this beer is amazing. Okay, Mark, would you describe this beer as wicked dangerous? Wicked dangerous, I don't think I would go quite that far. I think that you definitely need to be careful with this beer because the ABV would have a tendency to sneak up on you. I don't think it tastes like a 10%. If I wasn't to know any better with a blind taste test, I would say somewhere on the avenue of seven and a half, maybe 8%. Uh, just the, the floral hops and the, the hot malt balance to it really masks the actual alcohol to the beer itself. It's got such a great taste, and the hops in it really keep you from feeling the actual bite of the alcohol, but you still kind of feel the minor warming effects of it. Okay, Joey, I have a couple of prices for you. $17.99 for a six pack equals $3 a bottle. Uh, at a bar, we paid $7.50 a pint. I also heard $5.50 for a 10 ounce. To me, sounds like you're paying a little bit of a premium for this. Definitely. I mean, that was a lot of numbers you threw out there. I don't know what you want me to do with them. <laughs> do, you, do you think it's r worth a premium? Uh, I mean, yes, only because it's a, it's a seasonal beer. It's got that build up. It's like, I don't know, the Masters. Everyone looks forward to the Masters, so those golf fans, or, you know, New Kids on the Block. It's coming up, and scouts are really excited for that, you know? You know, it's one of those things that people sit around and look forward to, so, to pay a premium for, you know, a limited release beer, you know, you get what you pay for. You're you're getting that 10% alcohol, so you don't need 
three or four or five of these or 10 to 12 like Scott normally drinks, you know, one or two is gonna be fine with this. So. Okay. What is your rating? Uh, for me, this beer is a very well-established eight. I look forward to this beer, you know, once it comes around. Not a personal favorite, but, you know, highly recommended, definitely an eight. Scott, this is unfiltered, unpasteurized. Is that stuff important to you? No, it's not important to me. I mean, I don't care about the... The nitty-gritty? Yeah, the nitty-gritty. That's a good <laughs> word for it. Yeah, I don't care about the nitty-gritty. I mean, for me, the nitty-gritty is do I like it and do I enjoy it? And I do. I enjoy everything about this beer. Joey, what is your rating? James, I'm going a seven here. Um, you know, when I, when I have this beer, uh, you know, if it's... I, I have to rate it or compare it for me to 90-minute IPA because that's one of the, the best IPAs I've had. And this is close, close there up there with it but for me the grapefruit just comes out a little too much for me and i'm not a big fan of grapefruit so i'm putting it at a seven a step below uh 90 minute for me but uh, a big shout out to bell's brewery you know another great offering from them if anybody's never had bell's brewery you know if you can get your hands on it try it out of uh what is it comstock michigan close to kalamazoo uh get your hands on it drink some bells you want to get the oberon that's the staple bell that's their staple right. it's a staple i have to say though for my i haven't given my rating for this beer yet all right scott what's it's your rating so i have to say my rating for this beer i haven't given one yet would be a 10 which for me is a big thing this beer it's monumental i mean it's amazing how uh, the balance of it. I mean, it doesn't, I don't think they mean to be balanced with this beer, but the citrus, the piney, the flavor, the smell that. Wait, you know, wait, wait, wait. You think that there's something that Bell's doing, is doing that is unintentional? I don't think that they, I don't, I mean, I think they intentionally do the beers the way they do, which is with. I mean, I, I, I don't doubt, I think they made, intentionally made this pretty, uh, there's a big malt backbone here. Well, the, you know, the malt backbone, though, is very masked. But you're giving this a 10. I'm a 10 all the way. I mean, this is the best beer that I've had this year. And it's, it's January 31st, 2011. Hop Slam scores an 8.3 on the BBA scale. What is your favorite Imperial IPA? Do you think dry hopping is important to this beer? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.